The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you so much, Speaker. We who sit in this House are extraordinarily privileged. We are the only 27 people in Prince Edward Island who get to make the laws of this land. It is our duty as we carry out this work to do it carefully and to do it precisely. We must produce high quality legislation, the best it can possibly be, and we must be exact in our work. A misplaced comma or a single word can change the whole intent of a piece of legislation, so we need to be picky. It's our responsibility to point out potential issues with draft legislation and, where possible, to offer suggestions to strengthen and clarify the intent of a bill. Earlier this week, the mer uh, member from Mermaid Stratford stated that we bring forward or we amend legislation to make things better for islanders. That's a beautifully eloquent and succinct way of, to describe the complex process of making laws to make things better for islanders. I have fought for six years to improve rural internet service to make things better for islanders. And government has definitely moved forward recently with changes that give me far more confidence than I have ever had that we will actually finally end up with true high-speed internet for all islanders, regardless of where you live. Recently, the Minister of Economic Growth, Tourism and Culture made a very explicit commitment to this House, where all residents of Prince Edward Island would be serviced with internet where the speeds meet the minimum requirements of the most recent CRTC guidelines, 100% of residents by June 2023. Even the most difficult areas where topography and remoteness make that challenging to provide services that meet those CRTC guidelines. So earlier this week, we continued debate on Bill 105 to make internet an essential service. I have stated on a number of occasions that I fully support the intent of this bill and I want it to pass. However, there are some parts of the bill that are less than precise. And as written, the demands on government are actually less than they have already committed to. I brought forward amendments to change this and to strengthen the bill so that it actually holds government to account, not just in the short term, but indefinitely, as internet expectations inevitably increase. I want this bill to pass, but I want it to pass in a form that ensures that all islanders will be guaranteed true high-speed internet for decades to come. And in this spirit, I look forward to the bill coming back for amicable debate and for this legislature passing the strongest bill possible to finally provide the internet service that all islanders need and deserve to make things better for islanders. Thank you, Speaker.